Hi everyone, I'm Francois. Today we'll be looking at another Islander. This time it's the ISL 89. So let's get right into it because it's time to watch. Some of you may have noticed that this is my third Islander watch review. I reviewed the ISL 54 with the black dial and the ISL 84 with the white dial. So this is my third review, but it's not my third watch. I have seven Islander watches, so I really truly like them. So hopefully you'll like them too. And if you like this type of review, of course, leave a like. It truly, truly helps. If you can also subscribe, hit that notification bell. So every time I have these types of reviews, you'll be notified and leave a comment. Let me know if you know this brand, if you have an Islander watch, and if you do, what do you like about them? And speaking of uh, reviews, my next review is right here. This is a box that you may recognize. I reviewed this brand uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's an, a Phoebus, a brand new Phoebus. And I'll be opening up this box with this box with you, but at a later time. Now we're concentrating on this ISL 89, the Islander dive watch with this kind of new design. And we'll talk about the design a little later. Let's talk about Island Watch. Island Watch is a, um, a family owned and operated company. Mark Frankel is the owner and he's um, he's been selling watches for about 10 years now. But Islander Watches is uh, something of his creation since a couple of years now. I think a couple of weeks ago he had his second anniversary. And uh, so it's a watch brand that's growing and uh, and he hires um, he hires great designers, one of which is Ryan, who designed this one here. Uh, the few elements that uh, that are different, and if I recall, they're they're going to be kept for future I uh, Islanders for 2022, if I remember correctly. So one component is the crown. It's a flat, a little larger crown. It's still signed, as you can see. The other component is the fact that Islander is spelled out at the six o'clock here. And if I recall, the third element is that chapter ring, that brushed aluminum chapter ring. But don't hold me to it. I don't know if it's going to be ported over to all the future Islanders. Um, speaking of future Islanders, this is most probably not my last watch. Uh, all the Islanders that I have, all the Islander watches that I have, have been bought by me. They're, I'm not sponsored in any way by Island uh, Island Watches. This is a, a watch that I went on their website and bought directly on their online shop. I encourage you to go directly on their shop and and buy their watches. Of course, it's Island Island. Uh, um, it's LongIslandWatch.com. I hope you'll like them as much I, as I do. Of course. Let's get right into the measurements. So this case has a di diameter of 42.2, a lug to lug of 45.8. The thickness is 14 millimeters. Uh, that's what's written on the website, but I measured 13.6 on this flat sapphire glass. The lug width is 22 millimeters on this bracelet that tapers down to 18 right here and then goes back to 20 and even 22 here at the push buttons. The case, as you saw, is a stainless steel, a high polish on the sides here. It has a nice brushing here that goes, that ties well with the bracelet that's well brushed. And uh, it has an engraved case back. Let me just open this up. We'll talk about the uh, clasp and the bracelet in a few seconds. You see that engraved case back with 200 meter sapphire glass island watch and the Islander name with that depiction of Long Island and that logo right in the middle. So it's a high polished case back, screw down to give you a full 200 meter water resistance. The weight on this is 170 grams, but I took out a couple of links and on my seven inch wrist, it, it fits perfectly. So if you take out a little more links because you have a smaller wrist than mine, it may weigh a little 
less than 170 grams. But if you keep all the links, the watch itself weighs a little over 175 grams. Uh, I think it's 176. And the, uh, the movement in this case, in this casing, is a NH35 from Seiko. And this uh, movement has a, a self-wind, it hand winds, it hacks. Uh, the, that means that the second hand, you can stop it as soon as uh, you get to the very last position. And uh, to operate it, uh, you basically unscrew this screw down crown. As you can see, it's a signed screw down crown. The very first position, you can hand wind, like I said. The second position, when you come out just one position, one click, we'll let that second pass by. We change the date, and then when you get to the third position, two clicks out, you hack the seconds and you can change the time. When you click it back, screw in, it screws really well. Like I said, this new crown design is really grippy. It uh, You can uh, handle it really well and it operates really fine for this type of movement. And um, the loom on this, if you noticed, is that everything is loomed. These baton types, type of, uh, of hands are loomed with the hour markers. You notice that the date at the three o'clock ties in well with the hour markers. And you even have loom on the bezel insert. That bezel insert, if you see here, it's a high polish ceramic bezel insert. and ties in well and plays well with the light with that crystal, that flat, crystal that has AR on the undercoating and doesn't doesn't specify how many coats of AR it has but you can really see that dial really well uh, with the uh, anti-reflective coating and that dial really is great to see because it's a waffle dial you see the highlights there it's really nice you even have the bevel on the bezel if you see that it shines here it's really nice, so it plays well with the light in every aspect. You have an inside chapter ring that's brushed aluminum, and that brushed aluminum reflects on the dial once in a while. I don't know if you can see it right there. You kind of have a halo right there. So that's another thing that plays well with the light. You have that splash of color at the 3, and you see it at the 6, at the 9, and at the 12. And also, of course, on the second hand, but that Islander spelled out there, that's another component of the new design with that yellow and that pip as well. Everything splash of color ties in really well together. And so if you look at the bracelet, also it's a solid, solid links solid blur bracelet i would say that this is really really comfortable because the um the bracelet is not my type of uh, of thing it's kind of um a, a hair grabber usually because you know, i have a, lots of hair on my arms but this one is really comfortable doesn't grab the ha the, the the hairs it's a nice milled scissor clasp with push button clicks in well you fold over for secure positioning, you even have three three micro adjustments here. You don't have any diver extensions, but it claps really well, and it's really comfortable on the wrist. You adjust it, of course, with these screwed-in uh, pins, and like I said, I had taking out a couple of these, really easy to handle, really e easy to uh, to adjust. It has great readability with that, uh, that uh, dark blue dial contrasting with the uh, hour markers and the hands as well. That great loom, of course, contrasting colors and uh, that chapter ring that, that basically kind of divides. If you look at the, the watch a little 
further that chapter ring, that inner aluminum brushed chapter ring kind of differentiates the dial versus the bezel insert and it gives that type of kind of three dimension look that's another component that i really like so if you like this watch like i do uh, those are my impressions of course like i said uh, it's a great watch that's comfortable comfortable on the wrist it's it's really uh, it has nice readability it plays well with the light it flashes all over the place with that bevel on the bezel on the uh, crystal uh, it has that uh, high polish bezel high polish case on the sides a combination of brushed and high polish plays well with the light Truly, truly like this watch. The only gripe I would have is that the weight is all on the top on the casing here. So it's very top heavy. But because the bracelet is so comfortable, it's, um, it's barely noticeable. You get used to it really quickly. So I truly like this watch. I hope you like these types of reviews. Don't don't hesitate to press the like button uh, and press that notification bell as well. So you'll be notified of uh, my next reviews. And my next review, like I said, is the Phoebus. And I have another review upcoming, the Swiss Watch Company. This is the Bunker. It's a field watch. It's feather light. It's titanium with a great leather strap and if you press that notification bell you'll be notified when this comes out so i truly appreciate you tuning in and hope to see you next time